Hey everyone, let me share some exciting shots of the Starship IFT-2 and never seen before footage released by NASA, including captured from the NASA-owned WB-57 tracking aircraft. I'm sure these shots will amaze you, and there's also the opportunity to learn a few new things from this footage. These videos were released by NASA through its Freedom of Information Act library. Here's the video synchronized with the original audio from the launch day. We are T plus 40 seconds into the flight of Starship 33 Raptor engines powering the first stage. Power and telemetry nominal. We've heard power and telemetry nominal call out. We're heading down the Starship is through the period of greatest stress on the way to space. Now the next major event is hot staging in just over 90 seconds from now. To get ready, the booster will shut down all but three of the Raptor engines. Flames holding the two stages together will release and the Starship's second stage will ignite its engines. The Starship will then separate from the super heavy booster and head to space. And at the same time, the three engines that are still firing on Super Heavy will flip the booster around. Ten more engines will ignite for the boost back burn, putting the first stage on path for a splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico. Engine power continues to look nominal on 33 Raptor engines. We're about to shut down the first stage and perform staging. Let's watch and listen. And our position of Houston Signal, Houston and New Orleans. Booster engine cut off. We're near the cheering, the first ever successful top speed for SpaceX's Starship. Super Heavy Booster, and as you can see, the Super Heavy Booster has just experienced a rapid, unscheduled disassembly. However, our ship is still underway with ship all avionics six. And we just heard there, Ship Avionics Power and Telemetry Nominal. All six engines are lit, as you can see from the GUI there at the bottom right-hand side of your screen. Now, we did know that the uh, <laughs> that hot staging was going to be incredibly dynamic. We knew that there was a chance that the booster would not survive, but we're gonna take that data and figure out how we can make the booster better for the next hot stage. Yeah, that hot staging put a lot of load on the top of the booster.